Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up an Active Directory domain controller on Azure. So simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Azure and from here you want to create a new virtual machine with this particular image. So simply click on get it now and then click on continue. After that, from this product page, simply click on create. And you will be brought to this page from where you can customize your virtual machine. So choose the subscription that you have. Choose a resource group by either creating a new one or by choosing an already existing one and then give your virtual machine a name. So I'm going to call mine as AD which stands for Active Directory and then choose the region where you want to deploy your virtual machine. After that, scroll down and make sure that the image is the one that you got from the link in the description box and choose the size according to your requirements. And then for the administrator account, give yourself a username. So I'm going to call mine as CIS admin and then give yourself a password. After that, simply click on review plus create and then you would have to wait for the validation process to complete. After the validation is done, simply click on create to actually create that virtual machine. Once the deployment process is done, we can move on to the next step which is to connect to our virtual machine using the RDP connection. So for that, simply click on go to resource and then from this overview page, simply click on connect and choose RDP. After that, simply download the RDP file and click on it to launch the remote desktop connection and then choose connect and it is going to ask you for the credentials so click on more choices use a different account and then give the username and the password and finally click on ok and then you would be prompted so click on yes so now you need to wait for the connection to be made with our virtual machine and then for the windows server to completely load now once inside the windows server the very first thing that we want to do is that we want to give it a static IP address. So for that simply open up a command prompt and type in ipconfig over slash all. And then you need to right click on this network icon and then choose open network and internet settings. And then click on change adapter options, right click on your adapter and then click on properties, click on IPv4 and then click on properties once more and then use the following IP address. And then what you're going to do is that you're going to copy the IP address, the subnet mask and the default gateway from this command prompt. And for the DNS, it is going to be 127.0.0.1 and then hit OK and then close. Now it is going to apply the network configuration and it might even log you out for a few seconds out of this remote desktop connection. When you're back, you can close all of the windows and then you need to open up the server manager. Now, by default, Server Manager should open up by itself. But if it doesn't open up, you can go into Windows and search for Server Manager. Anyways, inside the Server Manager, what you want to do is that you want to click on this flag icon and then click on Promote this server to a domain controller. So this is going to open up the domain controller configuration wizard. So in this wizard, what we want to do is that we want to add a new forest. So click on it and for the root domain name, I'm going to type in rebeladmin.net and then click on next and for the domain controller option you are going to go with the default forest function level and the default domain function level and then you need to type in the password for directory services resource mode and then click on next for the dns option we are going to leave it as it is and then click on next now for the additional options we are going to wait for a few moments for the configuration wizard to show us the default net bios domain name and we are going to go with that default name so as you can see, it shows us the rebel admin as the default domain name. So simply click on next. Now for the paths, simply go with the default ones and then click on next. After that, you would be brought to this review option page. In here, you can basically review all of the settings that you are going with. So if you want to change anything, then you can go to that desired setting and change it from there. If you don't want to change anything, then simply click on next and run the prerequisite check. As you can see that all of the prerequisite checks pass successfully so simply click on install and then wait for the installation process to begin. Now once the installation process is done, it is going to restart this windows server on our virtual machine. So kicking us out of our remote desktop connection. So that is completely okay. So as you can see that it has logged us out of our remote desktop connection. So we need to just reconnect to our virtual machine. After you have re-logged into your windows server, this server manager would automatically launch. Now. If you want to access the Active Directory Manager, then you would have to click on Tools and click on Active Directory Administrative Center. 
So this is going to open up the administrative center from where you can manage all of your active directories. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Now if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing for Azure and also for the step by step blog post guide. And finally, if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.